I know, I know. Super Bowl is Super Bowl week. Yes, we're going to talk about the Super Bowl. But it is a question I have to ask y'all, and I put up a post. Make sure y'all go, got your notifications on, and y'all go look at the post. Who is more responsible from where we are at from the beginning of the season till now? I mean, I got a couple candidates. We got Howie Roseman. We got Jeffrey Lurie, Nick Sirianni, and Shane Steitman. I put them as a duo. And Jonathan Gannon. We're going to break it down, and I'm going to tell y'all the reason and why I picked the guy that I pick. And I don't think it really should be debated, but we can debate it, y'all. Let's talk. Yo, that. A. G. L. E. S. Say fly equals fly. Fly equals fly. Fly equals fly. <laughs>
I mean, in the middle of the season, seeing that the running game was struggling, basically. We're not even going to hold no punches. That was our weakest link. And he went and got a Linval Joseph, and not only that, an Adam Kasu. Pulls off a, 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 a heist on getting C.J. Gartner. Pulls off a heist on getting A.J. Brown. All the, everybody that he that he got, except for Nicobe Dean, um, uh, basically this year has been an impact. And Nicobe Dean, I guarantee, the only reason that Nicobe Dean is not an impact is because of how deep the, the linebacker situation is. When you talk about how good a um, uh, 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 TJ is playing, Kaiser White. The, the, I mean, the rest of the crew, Hassan Reddick, is really not that much room for him. But I guarantee in years to come, probably next year, he will be a guy that we're going to look at and say, damn, that was a steal in the third round. That was a steal in the third round. I mean, Howie has done everything that he can. Um, and everything that he can has put us in a position in the Super Bowl. Not only that. Let's go to the offensive side. Let's go to uh, Nick Sirianni and the Shane Steitman. Shane Steitman, to me, has brought out the best in a guy in Jalen Hurts. We're going to talk about Jalen Hurts. To really put the pieces around him, Harvey Roseman did. But to actually utilize them, because you can have as many pieces as you want. If you don't know how to play chess, you ain't going to win the game. You can have as many pieces as you want. But I think that Nick Sirianni and Shane Steitner has put together a brutal combination of using Jalen Hurst's legs and his arm. And not only that, we have a like it's like a like a secret weapon, a, a secret play that nobody can stop. I mean, it's been stopped twice to twice, three times this year. But it also has been successful over 30, almost 30 times. And that's the quarterback sneak. They revamped the quarterbacks. It shouldn't even be called the quarterback sneak anymore. To have guys just pushing Jalen Hurts and getting them into a, a first down or touchdowns because he didn't got about eight of them just by people pushing him. They revamped the quarterback sneak. It was just before before us, it was just Get behind the quarter, get behind the center, and go get it. No, we're going to push you. And this is something that the league has not seen, and the league has tried to get rid of, which is corny to me. Stop it. How about you focus on stopping it? Then you got Jonathan Gannon. And I know a lot of people might have him last on the list, but when you look at it, yes, 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 yes. When you look at the, the, the sex, having 70 sacks, but really a lot of them come from the defensive line. But he has to put those defensive linemen in and put them in position. I mean, it's not just like they always just going, 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 going to get the quarterback without no scheme. It has been loop arounds. It has been different things. And not only that, when he has his four horses, like all his guys, Amante Maddox, C.J. Gardner, and all those guys in the middle, He's he's basically he's he's basically unbeatable. Now, yes, Dallas put up 40, uh, 41 points on us, but that was after Avante Maddox went out. This coaching staff has done a hell of a job. Howie Roseman has done a hell of a job. Jeffrey Lurie, come on, man, he's the king of the table. Done a hell of a job. But my guy got to go with Jalen Hurts, and this is why. When you look at it, he is the engine to everything on this offense and the team. He has been vocal. He has carried the team when we need him. He has not turned the ball over as, as, as much as a lot of quarterbacks. <coughs> Dak Prescott, we ain't going to talk about that. He has proven to put the work in. And not only that, this is the defining factor of why Jalen Hurts is the guy of why we are where we're at. 16-1 on the season. 14-1 in the regular season. 
But those two games, all that talent that I just said we had, then the the uh, 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 the AJ Browns of the world, the Dallas Goddards, all those guys were there with Gardner Minshew. They was there. Yeah, you put up a fight in Dallas, but you still turned the ball over three to four times. You look horrible against the Saints. Horrible against the Saints. And I'm telling you, I don't think Jalen Hurts loses either one of those games. And not only that, the one game that he lost at the helm, it wasn't his fault. It wasn't his fault. Did he throw a pick? Yes. But he did everything he could to bring the team back. People make mistakes. People throw picks. But it's all about what you do afterwards. And he put his team in position. A.J. Brown fumble. Quez Walk is the biggest fumble. I don't want to go. I I I I want to go down memory lane on this one. We gonna talk about the Super Bowl tomorrow. I got some things coming up, but today I gotta reflect on what happened in this season and who is the biggest reason that it happened. And it's Jalen Hurts, and to me, it's not really a debate. You can have all the talent. Remember, we had the dream team. It's all about execution. It's all about X and O's. It's all about beating your opponents. And Jalen Hurts has done that time and time and time and time. And he's going to do it again on Sunday. And we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Comment below and also go to the post. Let me know because I might put it up. I might put it up if it's enough, if there's enough people that voted. But if you think I'm tripping... Comment below. If you agree with me, comment below. If you just want to say hey, comment below. But you already know. Stay Philly, stay fresh, y'all. Yo, that. It's a Philly thing.